Well, I was in really good form last night. <laughs> uh, I did a video last night that I have since made unlisted, and I probably will delete it. But I uh, was just kind of in a poor me, poor me mood. And then this morning I had somebody who I barely know, um, but apparently has had her share of the same kind of thing. Give me some excellent pointers. And the huge motivation for me is I don't want to attract any more people like that in my life, you know. Um, I don't know if I could say I'm an emo emotional vampire, but if I'm not, I'm pretty darn close to it because I drain, I drain people who, you know, they want to help me, but it's, it's like I have this wonderful, um, well, anybody, I've, I've had, I have known, um, emotional vampires myself. I had a friend who, it wasn't so bad when she lived here, but when she moved to, um, Utah, she would only ever call me when she was in the middle of a panic attack or she was having some other major crisis and she would call me and I was supposed to make it better. And it, it does get exhausting after a while. And then when when I had ended up having major surgery, where was she? <laughs> so yeah, it's like, I don't want to be that kind of a person. I don't want to be that to, to other people. Um, the people that I care for that I miss are, are people who um, have their life together and I don't, you know, I, I imagine that I was dragging them down and that's not the kind of person I want to be. And I appreciate this person on YouTube coming coming along and pointing it out, you know, well hey, and this can just go on and on and on forever as long as I let these people have power over me. And I don't feel like that. You know, it's like it's like religion, it's like Christianity. It had power over me for over 30 years. Because I believed it. I believed that what it said was true. Well, the same goes for these people. Um, the bartender and this guy who lived with me. Um, deep down, I guess I believe them. I believe, I believe it that I showed them my best. <laughs> Well, at least I did the guy who lived with me. I showed him my best, and my best was garbage. So what does that tell me? It tells me that I'm garbage. It tells me that I give my, my very best to somebody, and they turn around and tell me it's still garbage, and I'm still garbage. I, bu I buy into it, hook, line, and sinker. Oh, I must be garbage, and I feel hurt because, you know, I tried so hard, and it's like affirmation that no matter how hard I try, I'm always going to be garbage. And that's bullshit. You know, since I, since I dumped Christianity, I feel like, I feel even more like I have somebody in me that I don't want to have in me anymore, and somebody else in me that really wants to be in the foreground all the time, 24-7. But when, as this this lady pointed out when I get tired, when I get exhausted, you know, yesterday was a day that I worked both my jobs. And I start to feel sorry for myself, and then I just downward spiral into the poor me, poor me. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> and, you know, it. I'm letting these people, I'm letting these people make me feel like this. I'm letting people, letting people that I don't even have contact with anymore treat me, continue to treat me like this. It's like, I'm, I'm letting myself, I'm giving them more power and I should give them no power. People like this who, 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 <laughs> I don't, I honestly can't fathom. When I care for somebody, I care for somebody. I don't, I don't, seek to hurt them. It's what I have said on on YouTube about the bartender, what I have said to the Better Business Bureau and the Washington State Human Rights Commission, that is all completely contrary to who I am. I don't betray my friends. I don't I don't seek to hurt people. That's not who I am. But 
I'm letting these people make me into this thing that I'm not. And I don't like it. I don't like letting people have that much control over me. And I like what this lady wrote me today. You know, it's true that as long as I go on with this whole victim, victim, self image that I have of myself. Um, that's what I'm going to attract. I'm going to attract people who see me as a target, <laughs> as, some, as somebody to exploit or use or whatever, mess around with. So, I'm hoping that that wimpy video that I made last night is the last of its kind. I've said everything that I, I feel I can say to this bartender and about the stupid bar thing. The guy that I took care of didn't deserve a friend like me. I just gave my friendship to him thinking he was something that he wasn't, you know, and probably can never be. So anyway, that's all. I just, I'm just going to try to make from now on, make my videos more about things that I believe in and things I'm passionate about and things that other people are passionate about. Nobody wants to Nobody wants to waste 10 minutes listening to a whiner, which is what which is what a lot of my videos are. So anyway, see, I can take constructive criticism. <laughs> I don't always have to be right. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for listening. I have to get to work now. Bye.